Hi everyone, welcome back. Now, uh, as you can see, the scenery has changed. Uh, long story, but uh, we are filming at my dad's house today. Once again, long story. Anyway, let's start this video with some Google reviews, shall we? Now, in all fairness, my school's online image, it isn't the best. Um, turns out when you Google image search my school, uh, the first thing that comes up is a child in a bin. But anyway, let's see what problems Joey's have. Uh, looks like St. Joseph's have taken a hostage, but uh, apparently a very satisfied hostage. Uh, Pitbull has left a lasting legacy at the school from his time there, which is odd, uh, as I thought he grew up in America. But, uh, well, he is Mr. Worldwide. And apparently there's an epidemic of unpolished shoes happening, which... <laughs> I mean, that's bloody disgusting. You know, sometimes I'm researching these schools and there's not a lot to work with. You know, sometimes I'll go on their Wikipedia page and they'll only have the usual notable alumni and sexual assault allegation pages. But Joey's is all about rugby union. I mean, they can't get enough of the stuff. And if you even mention another sport, they'll just instinctively call you a pussy. Like, it's just a reflex. Now, when I was growing up, I was more of a fan of uh, AFL and rugby league or uh, as the Joey's boys would call it, GAYFL and rugby dum dum. See, what you need to know about rugby union is uh, no matter whether there's COVID restrictions or not, the crowd size is still the same. But I have to say in private schools, rugby union is very popular. And Joey's is currently the reigning champion of their division, so well done on that. Although let's just say they're not exactly the uh, reigning champions of the HSC High Achievers list. In fact, just for a bit of comparison, Here's what my school ranked. Although I have seen my year group this year, and uh, let's just say we're gonna add some zeros to that number. Now, as previously stated, Joey's love rugby. And one of Joey's alumni is Kurtley Beale, who is a rugby union extraordinaire. He's played like a hundred games for the Wallabies and basically Joey's drool every time they think about him, which is where this video comes in. Adam Fry here in Hunters Hill. Um, Kurtley Beale's gonna pick us up now. Special surprise for him, thinks we're just doing a school tour but we're gonna get him to uh, touch base with a couple of people that mean a lot to him in his early part of his rugby career. Hey, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. What's, What's going on? Yeah, not much, jump yeah, in. Thank you. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna start this video with a positive. I never thought I'd say this, but James Corden's acting in Carpool Karaoke is a lot better right now. Oh, thanks for this. <laughs> <laughs> it probably feels like yesterday you were playing footy for this great school of yours. Oh wow, last time I saw that building, Dementors were flying around it. Oh look, and it's even got a backdrop of the city. What would my school have in the backdrop? Probably backburning. <laughs> um. You're on to the left, there's a lot of tradition here. Oh, look okay. at <laughs> How are you? How are you, boy? Yeah, good, good to see you. you. Uh, good. Oh, look at them waiting in there for them. What a couple. Have these two just been sitting in there for like half an hour? Or is that where you just keep them for storage? The first time I saw him, actually, he was in the under-13s. Sorry, the religious leaders are on the footy team? What happened to Sundays are for the Lord? I don't think you can give out communal half-time oranges. And obviously seeing Jeremy and, and Bordy uh, there again. Oh yeah, never guessed this was sponsored. I mean, you might as well put a goddamn watermark over it. Three, one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> mm, maybe it's just my English advanced side talking, but I'm picking up a few metaphors here. See, back in the day, he didn't have anything, but he had all his friends. Nowadays, lost all the friends, but got a Land Rover. Now, when you search Joey's on YouTube, there's, there's a lot of rugby clips. Um, and they're all exactly the same. It's just slow motion shots of boys scoring, boys touching other boys, boys huddling outdoors, boys huddling indoors. Anyway, the only other clip I could find, um, <laughs> where do I start? Um, do you remember that guy before, um, Anthony Boyd? I think that's his name. Simply put, uh, Joey's decided that they do a vlog with him. Um, that sounds kind of normal, right? Yeah, well, turns out, um, Anthony was obviously busy. Uh, so they just bought a bobblehead of him. Is this weird to anyone else or is this just me? Hey guys, a quick editing tip from me. Uh, if you're making a video uh, and you're showing footage of you flying over Japan, maybe don't make it look like it's filmed in 1945. Because, you know that thing. Works on. Works off. In the nose. Out the mouth. Oh, it's good. Gotta get this to check up. Oh, this is Eddie Jones stuff. Oh, this is where he learned all his magic from. Let's just put aside that Eddie Jones, whoever that is, learned magic from the Karate Kid. Why does the bobblehead need captions? 
I mean, are you telling me that this bobblehead can speak, but what, has a hearing impairment? Oh, man, brother, you want to say yep. this? Now, tuck in your shoes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, brother. Sorry, Sorry brother. Yeah, good on you. Take a seat. Let's get started. I've got to tell you, no I'm coming to the end of the career. Imagine coming home and your mother asking, so what did you do today at school, Tom? And you reply, oh, I talked to a magical bobblehead who told me about his future retirement plans and told me to tuck my shirt in. You'd be in a psych ward. Well, I'm over there. What else should I do? Oh, girl, brother, you got to climb Mount Fuji. I've heard that's good. Whoa, telling the bobblehead to walk Mount Fuji? Disablest? The great KB gifted me this himself. See this? Acting headmaster. Anthony, we know it currently went there. Stop bringing it up. Also, whoever is voicing this, what impression are you trying to do? It's like he's trying to be a drunk Scott Morrison. I don't get it. Finally touched down in, uh, Hardipi Harakuji. Yeah, right. Gertley around here somewhere? No, why would Gertley be there? He's not sleeping on the street. Jesus, oh my god, fuck. No one's giving me recognition. No hello, sirs. Bow down to me. I'm the leader of the Wallabies. Being the Australian rugby coach is kind of like being the Zimbabwe bobsledding team coach. You know, you're never really in the contest and no one cares because you never win. Now, am I in the right place? Let's check over here. Ah, Japan Rugby World Cup. 2019, I've made it. Who on the security team let a wanker with a bobblehead through the gate? Does that mean I can just wobble a bobblehead with my iPhone and they'll just let me through anywhere? I'm just gonna walk up to the next State of Origin match and be like, oh, don't worry, I'm from Joey's. Hey, buddy, how are you, mate? It's good to see you over here in Japan enjoying the World Cup. Imagine you're being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just to grab a ball and run it around for 80 minutes. And then someone taps you on the shoulder and says, hey, do you mind just go talking to the bobblehead for a second? In, in, um, you know, GPS champions, you know, um, you know they, they, they had a lot of hype around our game against Joey's over at Stanwall, but, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was just a bit unfortunate that we won 51-7. That is so weird how they can remember that so specifically. Yes, it was a Saturday. It was 5.37pm at kickoff. I'd had six wheat bix for breakfast, a schnitzel for lunch, and your team for dinner. The end score was 51-7, to and because of that, we received seven canings the next day. Great team. There's a great doctor. Oh, buddy. How are you? Now, yep. the injuries. Yeah, we're going pretty good with injuries. Imagine if I filmed all my videos, but there's like a private school kid's head in the front. What do we got to do, mate? What do we got to do? Hey, yeah. Curtly, don't stroke the bobble head. That's weird. Up the guts and into them. Okay, right, uh, forwards go forwards. Forwards go forwards. So whose job is it to go backwards on the team? That's, that's just a normal thing. Hi, everyone. Uh, I've just realised that my camera's stopped recording... Uh, and it hasn't recorded the outro. So, um... Here they come, they're on a roll.